feel like the, like the contact feels good, but a lot of times it's almost like a snap hook if that's possible for yeah. the iron. Or yeah. at least a heavy draw where you can't, like, it doesn't stay on the green, you can't control it kind of thing. So, what do you think's happening in order to create that draw? Um, I'm, honest, I'm not sure if it's um, just in general the swing's quick and um, like I'm too far ahead or if it's just wrists and I'm, the wrists are over, but something's ahead obviously that brings the club. Okay. So just don't know what. So if we have, we kind of lay this out here. We've got our target line. Yep. Right, we have our target line right there. And yep. the golf club itself, right, it travels on a bit of a, you know, mostly an inside, an arc that comes in this way hits here and then goes back that way but not okay. everybody catches it right where that transition point is so uh -huh. As it swings into out this way and you line up the club face straight with where you want to go the fact that the path is going along the shadow of the shaft means that like well we have your club face drastically close to the path of the swing and that's what creates a hook right okay so mm -hmm. what i'd like to find today is a way for us to hit the ground more because the steeper that we hit the ground the less it comes from the inside Okay. Right, yeah. so a swing that comes too far from the inside, as you can see, it's like I miss the ground. I'm trying to hit the ground, but I'm also trying to swing out. Right. The second that I try to swing left, bump the ground. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, yeah. first things first, let's kind of set up to this tip here. And I want you to try to feel like you're going to hit the ground about an inch in front of that ball. Okay, like normal shot, but... Yeah, normal shot, let's just thump the ground in there. Okay, and setup's normal, it's just kind of a little... Okay. Yeah, your setup's good. The way you grip it's pretty good. I, I, or I don't change the setup for this shot. No. Like the ball's in pretty much the middle again. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I wouldn't change anything with how you set up. It looks good. Okay. So I'm almost gonna look at that spot and try to hit that. You got it. Okay. They're the same thing. It's the same reason golf's a 3D game, right? So it's not just about one direction. It's another direction too. Uh -huh. So, uh -huh. stand here in front of me and I can kind of show you some stuff. We're looking for, I like your backswing, I don't want to change it. I want you to feel as though that you are getting lower and in front of the ball on the way down. And yeah. then once you feel like you've got a little bit of low, your residual stand-up's going to kick in and you'll be really good. Okay. But we'll, we'll kind of start to see that when you get really low, yeah, right? start to smash the ground a lot. Uh, you know, if we were doing some short game stuff, standing up's actually really good because that gets the ball up. Right? The club starts to slide through and you end up looking like a really good wedge player. Which I think gets some pretty high shots around the green. Yeah, I can. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, our goal, trying to feel from here that you can go down, right? So this got lower, this got lower, this got lower. All that stuff went down. And then once it's down, let's just kind of drop it into the ground for now. Let's just try to get the feeling of taking these big divots and throwing the club into the ground. Um, you don't swing your arms through, which is wonderful. Um, your arms go through because you stand up, which I think is great. So we're going to hold off on the stand up on the way through. We're going to hold off on the follow through for a minute and just get the sensation of what it's like to go down after the golf ball. Right. Okay? Okay. So yeah, punch yeah. shots to start. Yeah. And is there like one part of your body that's the best to focus on? Or, yeah. or just in general, like your, I guess for me, like my left side. Yeah. yeah. All these ribs. Yeah. So when, like once, once you get back here, your ribs are pointed at the ball. Keep them down toward the ground longer, and that club, club's gonna thump. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool. Let's try some. Try the. Yeah. Okay. Got like three divots that are way more than the whole time. I cheated. I used a wedge. <laughs> Wow, that ball started right, curved, and you had a nice divot. Like, I exaggerated my holes. I don't want you to be that deep at all. Yeah, but yeah. as long as you have to replace something, we're in the good spot. Yeah, like even that's more than normal. Good. Yeah, yeah. Arms are long, right? Okay, but if you if it's 
going like this and your arms are bending up, yeah. that's pulling the club away from the ground. So, right. so all I'm looking to do is like, like leave the axe in the wood. Leave it down there. Right? So we're going to take it back. You're going to go down there and thump it and leave it down there. No, no swing for today. Okay, okay. You're going to find that some of these punch shots go farther than you've ever hit it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm, yeah, I'm pretty much stopping here. Right? That's what we want for sure. Okay. Just okay. for now. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Still on that one, you hit the ground and you pulled your hands in like that. Yeah, I guess I'm trying to like stop the swing, but it's not what we're doing. Yeah. So feel like it stops because your arms go long only. The, the whole goal of the downswing is to straighten your arms out. And once they get straight, like the longer they can stay straight, the better you're going to hit it. Yeah, okay. different yeah there you go yeah. Great. so the divot starts like in front of the ball like if, if you actually hit a great shot the grass that's under the ball never gets disturbed the divot starts about this far in front of the ball yeah for real. okay, okay. Right. Yeah. Kinda, yeah. Okay. okay so you went back about half your normal yeah. So don't half the backswing, half the follow through. Crank it back up. We want to hit it far. Yeah. So part of this is understanding that the roll of the arms really just goes down into the ground. But if we can keep the phone getting over your foot, that keeps your turn happening. That's your rotation. Yeah, okay. Awesome. And that's the one to the right. Okay, so those two shots, go. they go together. A straight ball to the right and an overdraw to the left, like, they go together, just like a pull and a slice. So, yeah. you know, some people have called, like, a, call, uh, represented it as a two-way miss. Yeah. Every golfer in the world has a two-way miss. Yeah. You're either blocking it one way and curving it the other. So let's set up to one more and kind of take a look at maybe it's something in your setup. Yeah. It's pretty funny, eh? Okay, it's 
The straight right balls are solid off the middle of the face. Yeah. And the ones that curve are off the toe. Right, yeah, for sure. Yeah. So we're, we're on the right track with this, uh, trying to get the club more out, avoiding the chair. Smooth it out a little bit. When you when you get quick or jerky, the jerkiness is this comes down so fast. Right. So maybe the idea like soften up the arms, don't squeeze them so hard. And start the down swing turning the body rather than moving the arms and up. Just soften things up. Chop the chair. Yeah, right, yeah. inside out a lot and it works too far up when it hits the ball on the tee that's the one that kind of dribbles down it's actually hitting up like this so much it's up spinning it into the ground yeah okay. that's the same thing as hitting right. fat with an iron yeah. so yeah. we want to try and feel from here that if I start to turn my body forward onto my front foot that golf club is going to avoid the chair it's going to swing down more into the ball instead of swinging up into the ball yeah right so first thing we talked about was trying to keep these left ribs down and low but I think that the big thing is almost going to feel like from the top of your swing I want your head in front of the ball before you hit it okay so okay. up head in front sit down
good shot, we're going to start to develop a little bit of better feel for the club faces. Stand over here, buddy. So, if I take this golf club out like this, and I keep, like, imagine my arms and the shaft are on a table. Okay? And I'm going to keep the shaft on the table, but I'm going to bend it back like that. Okay? So the face is still square. I haven't opened the face. I've just kind of taken the loft away from the face. So if I do that down here, right, it's straighter, it's square. And what I'm trying to do in the finish is trying to find a way to finish that on the table bent back. Yeah, okay. okay. So straight. Yeah, and it's going to feel like your glove hand, that the back of the glove hand goes this way forever, and it doesn't unload and it doesn't go up. I'm not going to hitchhike. So if I go like this and I swing through and I have that hand moving into a spot like that, I'm going to end up finishing this way. Yeah. Okay? That's yeah. how I want to hit a couple shots here. I want to see if you can make a move where you finish with your hands like that. Yeah. That's not only going to fix your, your overdraw with, uh, with all of your clubs, yeah. but it's going to yeah. give you a really fun wedge shot that really is only going to go through. See how that looks. You don't want to hurt my wrist. Tell me to crack it. So you're kind of saying, you know, bend it back. And just yeah, one more time. Do it again. Feel like your body's making this move and your wrists are just kind of bending that way. Uh, rooster cool. logo down to the ground. Yeah, okay. Yep, there, that one. out there pretty straight they're not going to go high as a wedge normally does but this is controlling basically how fast the club head passes your hands right and i think that when you have your biggest draws off the toe of the club that's the one where it passes the most yeah so yeah. you know from a longevity thing if you can practice this wedge shot a little bit and do it with an eight iron and incorporate it into your whole swing it's going to straighten things out yeah job that sounded great flew great yeah great okay so keep the back swing going a little higher and a little higher but you've got the right mechanics to it 